Dear Heavenly Father, may your Holy Spirit teach us today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Matthew 4, verse 8. We're going to have a little repeat of yesterday. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Now, how does Jesus respond? We know he responds by quoting scripture. But what he doesn't do is he doesn't say to Satan that you don't have the power to do this. Satan has the power uh, to give people power, the kingdoms of the world. He uh, gives people uh, popularity, fame, money. He has that ability. Many people have yielded to him and wanted to serve him for those things. Jesus doesn't say he doesn't have that power, but here's what Jesus said. He said, Thus, then Jesus saith unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Many people have chosen to worship the devil so they can get the things that come with worshiping him. Back in Genesis 1.26, God said, and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Now, first, I do want to point out, it says, let us, uh, the plural, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. The image of God created he him. Male and female created he him. The Lord created Adam and Eve, the first male and female. He created males and females to populate the world. But he gave mankind dominion over the whole world. But what happened? In Genesis 3 verse 1 it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? He got Eve to doubt. Adam was standing there with her, and they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they sinned against the Lord, and the dominion of the world was given over to Satan. And he tried this same trick with Jesus to get Jesus to doubt the word of God, but Jesus had written it. He is God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He had written it all, and he is the word of God. He's the living word. Well, Ephesians 2 says, Where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. It talks of the prince of the power of the air. Satan is the God. He's the prince of the power of the air. We want to be careful of even the airwaves, the things we listen to over television. Uh, he's in charge of those things. And when they're not godly things, we want to be very careful. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4, it says, In whom the God of this world, who's the God of this world? It's speaking of Satan. It says, He hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is, in, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. Satan wants people blind to the gospel, so they spend eternity in hell. But the Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air. He's, again, he's in charge of the airwaves. He's blinded people. He's the God of this world. He will give power. He'll make people... He'll give them money, fame, power on their way to hell. All that is temporary. But if people will serve God, that's eternal. We want to look what Jesus said. He said, then Jesus said unto him, get thee hence, Satan. He said, get away. We're supposed to resist the devil. How? By yielding to God. We talked about that yesterday. Then thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. So again, we want to get into the world, into the word. It says in verse 11, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. James 4 verse 7 said, Submit yourselves therefore to God. That's what we need to do. That word submit is many times a dirty word to a lot of people. People don't want to submit themselves to the Lord. We need to humble ourselves. We need to say, I don't have the strength to overcome this. Submit ourselves to him. Get into his word. Listen to it daily. Do what it says. It says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. We all have temptations, even as believers. Jesus was in all points tempted. He can understand those temptations. We can bring them to him. We, can all, we also need to be in fellowship so that we can have strength hearing God's word daily.